Hey Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading for November 22nd through the 28th. For anyone with Aquarius in their chart, cross watchers, you're more than welcome here. Just keep in mind that the energies may show up reverse for you. So take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? If the reading does resonate, please feel free to like the video, comment down below, let me know, subscribe, stick around, okay? Um, we're going to start this reading checking in with the zodiacs to see um, what you're dealing with, okay? We'll get a better look. So, Aquarius, if you're dealing with an Aries, Ace of Cups, lots of love, okay? This person has a lot of love for you um, and a lot of respect as well, okay? If you're dealing with a Taurus, Ten of Coins in the reverse, they're not happy with you. They're really upset, Um Something may have turned out differently than they had anticipated, okay? If you're dealing with a Gemini, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. Somebody's making a decision here, okay? Um, so if someone has been on the fence about something, they've made a choice, okay? If you're dealing with a Cancer, Five of Coins in the reverse, they want to recover with you. They want to come out of a hard time, okay? And move into definitely happier, brighter times, okay? Are we on if you are dealing with a leo six of cups this person feels very 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 connected to you um you could remind them of somebody you may know this person for a long time soulmate connection okay if you're dealing with a virgo two of wands in the reverse you're changing the course of um what that looks like or they are okay same energy as who did we see it for Taurus, where things are turning out differently than anticipated okay they may not be in contact with you right now if you're dealing with a libra page of swords they're watching you they may um want to communicate something to you okay but they're definitely watching what you're doing okay if you're dealing with a scorpio king of swords the truth is out, okay? They're speaking the truth. It is a card of communication as well. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Knight of Swords, same message with Scorpio, okay? Card of communication. Um, they've been giving something a lot of thought, although I wouldn't say they're super confident on it, okay? If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Five of Wands in the reverse, Okay, they want to come out of the drama, out of fighting with you, okay, out of conflict, okay? They definitely want to move into calmer waters here. They want victory, okay? And if you're dealing with a fellow Aquarius, three of swords, a lot of sadness, okay? See your guys' energy right there. Um, heartbreak, sadness, grief, that's the energy, okay? And if you're dealing with a Pisces, deception, Okay, that's the energy that's surrounding that, whether they believe that you are lying to them or they are lying to you, okay? So with that said, let's get a look at what is going on this week for you. We are in Sagittarius season now, yay. Ooh, Nine of Swords in the reverse with Death, Scorpio energy, along here with the Eight of Swords, Okay. We're facing some anxiety about a cycle that has been needing to end and you did not want to fucking deal with it, okay? That's exactly what that's saying. Um, let me clarify right now for you the death card, okay? You could be dealing straight up with the Scorpio, but the energy is Scorpio because death is transformation, okay? We're just coming out of Scorpio season, right? There's a lot of endings happening and... We're making room for new beginnings. So let's see what this means for you, Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You are being forced to do things differently, okay? You could be dealing with an earth sign, but this is breaking routine, breaking habit, okay? Challenging yourself, um, whether you want to or not. It's just, this is what we're doing. We're working a little bit differently now. Queen of Wands, passion. King of Cups, that's interesting. That's really interesting. The cycle is doing things differently when it comes to relationships, love, attraction, okay? The Queen of Wands is a very sexual energy, okay? 
Um, it's fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sag, okay? But it's about passion and fast moving forward, okay? Um, if you've watched my readings in the past, this is when I would talk about instant gratification or things coming from ego that came up a lot in the shadow work videos, okay? The King of Cups is saying here that you need to be aware of your feelings before you're pursuing passion, okay? That's the cycle that needs to end. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, doing things differently, that's what that is. Checking in with yourself, honoring the truth, not going for the instant gratification. Impressive. Very impressive. Let's check in with the Eight of Swords because I'm still feeling like you're not um, getting the entire picture. Whatever this is, this brings you a lot of anxiety with the Nine of Swords in reverse as well. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles, the Moon... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't feel 100%. And the Nine of Swords in the reverse. That's here again. Wow. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of anxiety. Um, and things hanging out in your subconscious, Aquarius, here with the moon, okay? Pisces energy showing up, Earth energy as well. You're here, okay? Air energy. But this is feeling like you're always in the dark, okay? Or in this energy of loss or not having enough okay the five of pentacles is a really as i look down your shadow card is the moon in the reverse at the bottom of this deck i just saw that this is all about exposing illuminating what's not clear what is still a mystery what's in our subconscious the reason for why we are the way we are right check out your shadow work video my loves in your playlist okay because there's a sense of sadness you can't figure out where it's coming from and it gives you a lot of anxiety to try but i see you trying or at least that's the energy you have to embrace okay because the eight of swords is rough that's really rough it's just this attitude of it is what it is things will always be like this and that's not how it is there's just a lot of fear you have to face here okay let's check in with your energies from the past Two cards flipped out here. The Three of Coins and the Three of Cups, both in the reverse. Okay, so this is Distraction City. Um, Emotion-wise, feeling-wise, logically, okay, anything to not pay attention to what this Nine of Swords is. Whatever that is, the moon, okay, it was just uncomfortable, scary to deal with, okay? It's like you were searching for it, and it's come up in all the readings, okay? This is why I'm very confident saying it. So we're going through this as a collective where we're trying to find validation externally, okay? I see you looking um, for that through work, okay? Through love, friendships, okay? Anything, right? King of Swords in the reverse and the Eight of Swords is back, okay? That self-restricted energy of it is what it is. Mm -mm. You just don't feel confident to speak your truth. There's a level of guilt or shame with the King of Swords in the reverse, okay? He can't bring himself to even acknowledge it. Never mind talk about it. But there's a blindfold right over you. The Eight of Swords. I mean, they're wearing a blindfold. There's no other way than to read this card, okay? This little swan man is trapped, okay? It's a very self-restricted energy because we don't see the whole picture. We only see what's right in front of us, okay? And I just see you just trying to run. Oh my gosh. The hangman, yeah, a new perspective was needed here, okay? You had to surrender, I mean, truly, and just like back away from everything and take everything into account and almost just like observe, right? I've talked about this a few times in my readings where it's almost getting to the energy of getting in the mindset like your life is a book, right? Or a movie. Why is the author doing this? Why would the director do this? What is the point of all of this happening, right? To kind of understand because there was a larger purpose here, Aquarius. But oh my God, you didn't want to find out. You just did not want to find out. We were just going for anything that felt good. This three of cups and three of coins both in the reverse here. This is a part of that queen of wands energy. Anything that felt good. Anything that was instant gratification. Let's go to your current energy. Okay, that was the past. Let's see where you are now. 
Okay, we have the High Priestess, more Pisces energy showing up, a lot of that. The Magician in the Reverse and the Queen of Swords, your energy. When you listen and go within, you feel like you're not capable of having what it is that you want. That's the problem. Because I see you acknowledging something. The Queen of Swords and the High Priestess, this is you using your intuition, okay? Ace of Swords in the reverse. You're not seeing the higher purpose, though, the lesson. It's uncomfortable, but you're going deeper. It's like, um, it's very much like an onion, right? You're peeling it layer by layer, okay? This is you acknowledging the fact that there's an onion in front of you. <laughs> That's where you are with it, okay? It's really about your self-confidence, your beliefs, um, maybe the actions you would have to do because the magician does take action to manifest the life he wants, okay? That are uncomfortable for you, but let's clarify some. Let's clarify this magician in the reverse. Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's just this overwhelming stress and pressure. Seven of Swords, but it's deceptive. Nine of Pentacles. You feel... I don't understand. One second. You feel like you can't have something because you have to do this alone. You feel very alone and it's like, I have to. I have to do this. But it's... Oh my gosh. I don't know, but there's some type of completion going on here, Aquarius, with the Ten of Wands. I'm going to clarify, clarify more cards around here to try to get a better story, okay? But this is really hard energy to read. I don't think I've ever been so caught up on this, okay? But what I can tell you very clearly is whatever this feeling of feeling like you can't go on, honor that, okay? Your shadow card right now is the world, okay? Here with the Ten of Wands. Something's completed, okay? It's this overwhelming feeling, that burden, that feeling like you're going to have a break, that, okay? I'm going to clarify more. Let me clarify the High Priestess. There's some kind of information here, and it makes you feel like you cannot never have something, or that you're always going to be alone. You'll never have what it is you want. It's very one-sided, Okay, the High Priestess, please. The World. Okay, Temperance, Sagittarius, Five of Swords in the Reverse. You know. You know. <laughs> There's something here about balance. That something's not meant for you anymore. That you have to let go of something. Let go of some type of conflict here. The five of swords in the reverse is tripping me up as well. Because this is... It doesn't seem like strong enough energy to equate with this angel energy here. With this temperance. This is you not fighting anymore. This is you not resisting. But at the same time, it's you not resisting, but at the same time, you're in the mindset that it's not going to work out. That's what's happening. It's like you're giving up. <laughs> Aquarius. Aries was really struggling this week as well. So if you have that in your chart, it just might be bumpy. Okay, my loves. The sun in the reverse. Yeah, you're fucking having a really hard time. There's a lot of depression. You feel like your truth is darkness. You feel like you're testing for an... I could cry, actually. Um... There's just a lot of sadness and not understanding the larger purpose. It's like this acceptance. And again, I'm going to say it again. It is what it is. And it's so much deeper than that, Aquarius. This is a mess, okay? That's why you're, the energy was so hard to read. It's like so headstrong, fixed energy, Aquarian energy, okay? And I can make fun of you for that because I'm a Scorpio and I'm a fixed sign as well, okay? We're stubborn as hell. We don't like change. But this is for your benefit. This is going to lead to light, okay? To illumination, to your happiness, to truth, to you being able to feel and not having to numb yourself and distract yourself with gross third-party energy that doesn't even matter or actually touch you on a soul level, okay? This is all the purpose. You're supposed to figure out exactly what you want. Jeez Louise. 
Oh, great. Half the deck just fell out. Calm down. Let's check in with the energy that's going on around you, okay? Okay. Three of swords in the reverse, justice, and the ten of coins. All right. Somebody here, okay, at this situation, there was a lot of fucking sadness here with the three of swords, okay? This could have been somebody you separated from, okay? Some type of loss, okay? Could have been a loss of income as well. The justice card, that can be talking about a divorce, okay? Again, it could be job loss with the ten of pentacles, okay? But the justice card is here, okay? Spirit sees you. This was divinely guided. This has to, this had to happen. Um, mm. There was no fighting it. And that makes sense with the Nine of Swords twice coming up in your original message. How much sadness and pain and anxiety this brought around you, okay? But there's healing and there's happiness to be found in here, okay? Tell me more about this Justice card, please. Okay, we have the Five of Wands in the reverse, the six of swords in the reverse and the three of wands. It's hard to picture a new beginning with this justice, right? Whatever that means for you. Um, something looks differently now. It looks very differently than you've ever it pictured, okay? If I said the five of wands before, I'm sorry, it's the four of wands in the reverse. Something wasn't able to reach a new milestone, okay? There wasn't growth. That's just telling me here that you hit a glass ceiling and a comfort level, okay? Um... You were meant to expand here because it's going to lead to your overall happiness, okay? There is healing. So what is this Ten of Coins about? What is the overall happiness? Okay, let's see what fell out. The Hermit in the reverse, the High Priestess in the reverse, the Eight of Cups in the reverse, and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> wow, what a journey. Your road to the Ten of Cups looked a lot like feeling disconnected, keeping secrets, not being aware of information, returning back to situations that you walked away from or running back to people that walked away from you, okay? Codependency. That was the purpose for you to overcome all of this, to lead you to your Ten of Coins, to your abundance, to your prosperity. It's deeper than love. It's deeper than money, okay? It's everything you could ever want, okay? Oh my goodness. You feel so much darkness right now, but there's so much prosperity waiting for you, Aquarius, if you can just open up and just connect with yourself, okay? Um, I am going to link like the High Priestess video that I did for shadow work uh, in the comment section below, okay? Feel free to check that out if you have not already. All right, let's, what does Aquarius need to know? Were they not aware of something fell immediately? Five of Wands, conflict, okay? And this can be, you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, it can be drama, okay? Um, fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries, what else? The Tower in the reverse. This is an opportunity for you, okay? To embrace the lessons that you have been taught here okay there are things to learn from your past there's change needed Aquarius okay I feel like the tower moment already happened with it here in the reverse okay but you can't stay fighting about it forever okay about this change about this sudden change now if it has not happened already this is a warning okay from the universe saying look you and I both know here that change needs to happen, okay? So stop distracting yourself with this drama, this third-party energy, and take control, right? The divine is saying, I'm giving you the chance to make the changes, to do what's right, to connect with yourself, and follow where your soul is leading you, okay? Not um, creating more of a foundation that's just going to need to be repaired here, okay? Anything else for advice for Aquarius? Okay, King of Swords in the reverse. This has everything to do with the guilt and shame that you carry. Whatever you feel like you're silenced about, whatever you feel like you can't talk about, that's what this is about, okay? You're going to continue. And this is the universe kind of like being aggressive. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, but the Five of Wands, okay? This is them saying, look, we're gonna keep throwing you 
blocks and um, bumps in the road until you look at this. You're supposed to master this. You're supposed to acknowledge this. It's, I'll say it again, it's deeper than it is what it is. I think I made somebody else's title of the video that, so feel free to go watch that video too, okay? You might get one just like it. Um, okay, all right, all right. What does Aquarius need to know going forward, spirit? Advice. Okay, the Page of Swords in the reverse and the Empress in the reverse. My loves, you really need to evaluate here. You're not even paying attention when you're codependent or how you're codependent, where your attachments or expectations are, okay? There's not awareness there. That's why we saw the moon as well, okay? That's your shadow work. Your advice is to tackle that, is to seek your truth, to find your truth, okay? The Six of Cups is in the reverse, okay? It's time for you to connect with your soul. It's time for you to connect with who you are, Aquarius, okay? I'm going to leave it there. That's a very heavy reading. If anyone needs a personal reading, you can reach me in my email in the description box below. Again, if this was helpful, please like, comment down below, share. But most of all, be kind, especially to yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!